orator number one. To speak well before the people, he says that you need training and delivery without quibble. If you speak with a stammer or a stutter, he advises that you train your tongue with a pebble. Day and night, you must train to speak underground in a hole. And make sure that you follow the advice of his active friend, the tyrant, to speak with gestures and feelings as a whole. If you can all demonstrate these, he says that like him, you can be the greatest speaker among all. Can you guess who this orator is? If you can, you're simply the best. Introducing Demosthenes, an Athenian politician, he is known as the most excellent orator in ancient Greece. Orator number two. Start neighbor wars. His powerful call is that truth is the sword of peace and he assures you of this. He shows that it is important at all times to give a good example. For an example by one may lead another to reach a high speak or to stumble to an epic fall. And so speaking movingly, an enthralled young Demosthenes promised to be as good, the audience recalled. Indeed, because of him, Demosthenes aspired to become the finest writer in the ancient Greek world. Can you guess who this writer is? If you can, you're simply the best. Introducing Calistratus, an Athenian general and writer, he inspired Demosthenes become the best orator in ancient Greece. Orator number three. A friend, Demosthenes, complains that he makes his speeches short. For he likes speeches that are soft, truthful, and court. He believes that one word spoken in truth is the most powerful in the world than a thousand lies stretched in a mind. Always, he speaks in public with a frown, never with a potion of charm or a hint of a smile. A man of few words and honesty, friendship with him, says Alexander the Great, is worth all the king's wine. Can you guess who this orator is? If you can, you're simply the best. Introducing Phocian, a wise, honest and austere Athenian leader, he is considered as the most powerful narrator in ancient Greece.